I have a mom who's um, from South Korea and I have a dad who's from Delaware. So totally different sides of the globe, but uh, they're both unique and supportive in their own way. Uh, my mom is very strict, but at the same time she loves me and she wants to push me as hard as she can so that way I can be the best person that I can be. And then my dad is more easygoing, laid back. I like to call him Mr. Rogers because he looks exactly like Mr. Rogers. I believe I'm so driven and goal oriented because of my parents, truly, because I know that they have given so much to make sure that I can succeed in whatever it is I need to succeed in. I want to make sure that I can carry that through. And I've always had the mentality, if you're going to do something, then you might as well do it to the best of your ability. And I just always keep that in the back of my mind. And I think that every day, you know, is a gift. So make that sure that gift is well deserved and you do everything that you can to make sure you live out every day and try your hardest in everything you do. One of my favorite things to do is spend time with children. When I work with teenagers or you know children of any age really I try to impart a message on them that's positive and that shows them that they have the power to make a difference in someone else's life because we all have our own talents, we all have our own passions, but why not use that to help someone else or to make someone else's day just a little bit brighter? So sometimes I'll go with my dance students and we'll go perform a show to a nursing home. Or sometimes I'll go teach lessons at the Boys and Girls Club or just spend time with students, or different students or different individuals who are in a time of need. Tap dancing is my favorite form of dancing because it's the most unique in my opinion. It's definitely the hardest other than ballet. I'm not a very good ballet dancer, but tap dancing I think is the most difficult because it's so intricate with your feet. And one of my favorite things about it is that with other forms of dancing, yes, you get to move your body, you get to paint a picture, you get to tell a story, but with tap dancing you actually have the ability to make your own music. My steps to Miss America began in a room very similar to this one. You know, dirty floors, big mirrors, so you can look at yourself to watch yourself practice. Um, so I'm very comfortable in places like this, but being in an environment such as this, it reminds me of how hard that I've worked. How much time and hours of dedication and sacrifices that you put towards something that you love to do, so you can do the best that you can do such as with tap dancing. It's you know one of my favorite things to do, and I had to work hard to become successful at it, just like how I am with Miss Oklahoma. You had to work hard, you have to give up a lot, but at the end of the day, you know I was able to be Miss Oklahoma, and that's been one of the biggest rewards. Watch me, Miss Oklahoma, Alicia Clifton, at the Miss America pageant this January 12th on ABC.